Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we are back with Court Arms Gates of Hell Osfront tutorial slash guide. And this time we are talking the lock ammunition functionality and how you can use that to your advantage. Now, it may seem pretty simple, obviously it's down here to the bottom right on the hood. The ammo switching unlocked, and you can lock it. Now, you might think, why do I want to lock it? Well, here's the first kind of way, reason why. Obviously you want to lock a certain type of ammunition so that AI doesn't constantly switch. So, here we have the Mod 3. It's a light tank destroyer. You know, it's, it's light, but it's not a very powerful weapon. But there is an issue in this game. When you are firing at, let's say, a tank, and infantry shows up, what happens? The vehicle instantly goes bang and switches to high X. And it's a pain, because if all of a sudden a T-34 then rolls down the road, you have a high explosive round, you have to switch back to your other types of ammunition, and it takes time. Obviously, if you have armor base loaded in, and you lock the ammo type, it's locked, he won't switch, even if there's infantry there. Now, obviously, this means he won't engage the infantry with high explosive rounds, but if you have infantry supporting him and the correct weapons supporting him, you shouldn't, shouldn't matter anyway. So it means you can use things like your tank destroyers, specifically for anti-tank, and you can quickly unlock it anyway. It doesn't take long. There's also another thing that I don't think a lot of people know. Now, for instance, with this 120mm mortar, what do we have here? We have high explosive, and we have incendiary and smoke. Now, the AI will never use incendiary rounds. I've never, ever witnessed them fire incendiary rounds, and if it is, it's one in a million. But I like incendiary rounds because they're good at burning down buildings. Now, if I want to, for instance, burn down this church, but I don't want to spend you know two minutes sat on the mortar myself because I've got other units to control, I can switch to the incendiary rounds, I can lock the ammunition type like so, and then just press attack ground over here. And as you will see, I will leave the mortar to itself. And it will fire the incendiary rounds. Normally, if you just switch attack ground, even if it's on incendiary, it will not use the incendiaries. So there he will do it now. If I stop him, I unlock the ammunition. And I say attack ground. What will happen is he will normally switch back to the high explosive rounds. In this case, he does seem to actually be using them, which is quite good. But normally they will switch back to the high explosives if you're playing like Conquest or other things. So you can use it to basically lock him on the ammunition types you want. Here he's been quite good and he's carried on using the incendiary. I think that's because we're on the editor. As you can see, the ammunition's not going down. But another thing as well, if you are using the locked ammunition on the incendiaries, he will only fire the ammunition he's locked on. So imagine right now he's run out of rounds, he will stop firing, meaning you don't have to worry about him going through all this high explosive and all this smoke as well. You can obviously also use this for smoke. You can lock the ammunition type, put him on smoke, and then say fire away, and he'll start firing smoke rounds out, which is pretty damn effective. And as you can see, that's also very useful. So you can use the lock ammunition function to basically get the most out of your unit so that AI will use these more effective rounds. That actually caused my computer to stutter all the fire physics there. That's quite funny. Now, another thing as well, like with the Marders, you will notice that AI doesn't use composite rigid or high explosive anti tank rounds very often. You can also do the same with that. You can lock in the high explosive anti tank rounds. And now he will use these against the armored units that approach. So, locking types of ammunition is not just to stop them using other types, it can also be used to make them use other types of ammunition. And for instance, in the case of the mortar, the incendiaries, which as you can see, are very effective. And if you use this correctly and use it to your advantage, you can get the most out of your units without having to directly control them all the time, which I find that a lot of new players do struggle when they spend you know, five minutes on a mortar and then the right flank collapses because they've been overrun. Anyway, I hope you found the tutorial useful. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a fantastic evening.